My name is Henry. I've got a business here in Wilson, North Dakota, and uh, just finished up with a squad and thought, hey, let's take a video of it and show you guys what we're building. So I'm going to hop inside, turn on some lights, and show you what we got going on here. All right, so um, what we're looking at is a blueprint sound off signal platform here, and uh, put some M powers into it. Sound off is doing an impressive job with these Empower lights, and uh, I've got a couple N-forces that go into this Weston pit bumper that's on here. I like the Weston pit bumper. Um, right now, what we're looking at is our in-park and uh, slide uh, whatever you want to put it at, but it's what we call a park slow. And uh, so you show this baby in park, all your lighting slows down. You can work around it. People can drive around it, and you're not uh, dealing with kind of your pursuit type light flash patterns and stuff like that, which is a part of the impressive thing with Blueprint, is just the options there is impressive. And so what we got for some lights on here is I put uh, some N-Force light head modules in this Western pit bumper. We've got some M-Powers on the side of it. This is a dual uh, red-white, and I've actually got tri-colors on some of this other stuff. So these actually were a tri-color also. I've got a red, blue, and a white in that. Uh, red, blue, and a white in my M-Powers there. The M-Power light bar up on the uh, top of this thing is the impressive light bar. Um, I put on different products and uh, was just really kind of blown away with when uh, Sound Off Signal came out with this M-Power light bar. It's just a sweet light bar. So, tell you what, I'll walk down the side and we'll take a look at what we got going on there. All right, so like I said, we got some tricolors, M powers up there, four inch on the uh, pit bar in the uh, front fender. Our M power light bar um, on the back back here, the D pillar. I put uh, three inch tricolors um, on that D pillar, and a lot of guys saying don't do the th don't do the uh, tricolors. And so I'll tell you a couple things I like about it is um, there's a lot of talk. We want reds to the the driver's side obviously and blues to the passenger side and what we've got is a uh, guy saying well look we're blocking an intersection and all I have is red lights flashing at people coming at me that maybe they can't see red and uh, vice versa you got the other side you got nothing but blue lights flashing on the other side and uh, well in certain conditions blue doesn't show up real good and so um, that's why we kind of went this route with some tricolors we wanted to be able to put white for some nice flood lighting and that type of stuff. And uh, for that side lighting, you know what? Um, we kind of liked the idea of these uh, reds and blues out both sides. So anyways, I uh, got some nice um, three inch eight LED single colors down there on that bumper. Um, smoking hot little light, some tricolor four inch there at the hatch. And obviously the same thing around on the passenger side. And so I'll pop the hatch on the back of this thing and show you what we got inside. All right, so I put a couple little single color four LED lights in the hatch. When you open it up, we've got those things flashing. Uh, you lose your light bar. It's a rather inexpensive way to get you some nice lighting uh, after the hatch is open. You're going to spend a few minutes here pulling stuff out. Um, so put that in there on the hatch. I really like these little rascals. Um, put a sound off signal, um, red, white uh, LED dome light there. One underneath here, um, kind of up on the inside. The truck vault box is, um, man, these guys are building a very impressive box. Um, Price-wise, they're going to obviously be a little spendier than some of the other options, um, but, I mean, they're building a super nice box, um, if you don't mind, a wood platform for uh, a lot of that. Um, some guys don't really care for that, and uh, we've used some different products, um, so that we're all aluminum, metal, steel type of thing. But we've got a day box that they're also supplying. Um, sweet little day box goes in here for explosives. Um, you've all seen truck vault probably, so I won't pull it apart and uh, show you what's inside. I'll hop around into the, the side door and show you what we got inside on the console. All right, so on the inside, we put a Satina gun lock in, dual gun lock in here, um, handcuff, and then your standard shotgun um, mount. Um, I like their Satina gun locks. I change them around a little bit just so that it works well for how these guys like running stuff. Uh, watch guard, um, they, they're building um, obviously a very impressive 
camera system. I've put a bunch of them in for these guys over the years, and um, they'll probably never change. Uh, they love the watch guard stuff. Gives them a nice display up top. Um, we are actually running body cameras now, and so they've got their Vista Wi-Fi body camera up top, um, and they actually still run their lapel mic also. Um, at some point, they'll probably get rid of that and just run the body cam. But so, anyways, docks for both of them. Get them all tucked up up top. Um, sound offs, uh, blueprint, siren controller, Kenwood two-way radios. The transceiver goes in the back, so we're just dealing with the uh, control head up here. Stalker radar went into it. Uh, Havis dock. Um, I moved my Havis dock over to the outside of the console. Um, they this. This Havis console, um, I've put a bunch of these in um, for this agency, and they like it. One of the things that I changed uh, just over the years is they have a spot here where you can pull that Havis um, swing arm up out of the actual console. And um, got to like a couple of years into building these things for this agency, particular agency, and was like, they were like, yeah, it's kind of cramped on me. So you actually mount it on the outside out here and it gives them some nice space cleans up the console here so that a guy can actually uh, access stuff a little better and man they have really liked it uh, they like their Havis products I like the Havis products I hate the Havis wait time uh, to get them uh, so the uh, streamlight flashlight charger um, PA dome lights we got so we got just a red white dome light in the partition area back there Satina partitions um, I really kind of like the Satina partition. Um, actually, I'll hop back and show you. We put um, the insert in that thing and uh, center pull seat belts. I'm telling you, when it comes to officer safety, um, these guys are doing a nice job getting that set up back there. So we'll look in the back. So on this Satina uh, replacement seat that goes into these things, um, this is the first year that I was able to sell them on changing out the OEM seats and they just are impressed with what they've got here for a product. The leg room difference between going with an OEM seat in the back of these things versus this is just, I'm six foot two and I've got leg room in here and I can sit back here. You can cuff a guy behind his back and um, you're not killing the guy. You're not, so if you've got a six foot guy, 300 pounds, and you're trying to wedge him into a Tahoe that doesn't have this, you're going to be stepping on them and kicking them to get them in there. And then after you get done getting them in there, then you're going to hug them and plug in your seat belt over here and he's going to headbutt you. So you pull out your OEM seats, you put in the sweet Satina system that's out there. You've got a center pull seat belt. You latch it in right here. You, you've got the guy buckled in. You take and you cinch the guy in. If I can get my seat belt to work, that always helps. It ratchets back on you. The guy ain't going nowhere. He didn't smack you in the face. He didn't kiss you. He didn't lick you in the ear. Um, that is the way to do it. Um, changed out a few things for him. Uh, worked some dollars for him. Got him some better pricing on uh, the Satina products themselves. And then also on some of this um, sound off signal stuff. And got him into this ride with this for about the same money that they were paying on their previous builds and they're they're simply thrilled so dome light um i'll walk through a few options on this thing yet um but that's what we got on this all right holy cow eight and a half minutes on this video already i'll make it quick so um the options that went into this puppy is just impressive we've got um with that blueprint platform almost um unlimited options on what we can do and so i'm not going to run over everything we're already way crazy on the length on this video um but I mean, you got door triggers going on. You've got different things happening when you put it in park. You've got reverse lights kicking on if you've got your photo sensor saying it's dark out. You've got just a whole variety of things that come into this. And so the difference between last year and this year, they were just so impressed with what we were able to do with them. Just changing it from your standard build, nothing wrong with that. But the blueprint package gave us the ability to just give them a whole nother step of officer safety. You've got a center pull seat belt. You've got lights doing different things. Um, so what, what it really boils down to is that's what I enjoy doing. When it comes down to building a squad car, you can build a squad car or you can find ways to get this to where the agency is just going to love it. It's going to be a safer ride for that trooper. And um, uh, that's my end goal.
I want to I want to turn out a good high quality product, um, get them a good price on it, and uh, make it something that they love. The guy comes to work. Uh, this is his ride. These are actually take homes, and so uh, this is his ride. Um, improves the morale of the department, I think, and um, they've seemed to uh, really appreciate the time and effort that goes into these. Hey, like my Facebook page, Heck Built. Uh, search me on Facebook. Um, if you're needing to get a hold of me, email heckbuilt at gmail.com. Um, get in touch with me if you're looking for something done. Um, we can set these up, uh, new ones, if you need stuff fixed on them, that type of stuff. Um, but get a hold of me if you need something done. Hey, appreciate the time on the video. I know it's long, and uh, thank you.